Okay, third time's the charm. I'm gonna make a video about the hormone replacement products that I use. The first one went on for 10 minutes, that's too long. The second one was perfect and TikTok deleted it. And now I'm gonna do the third one. So low hormones is a cause of vulvodynia. Low sex hormones cause a genitourinary syndrome of menopause, GSM. Other life events in a premenopausal woman, such as years on a low-dose oral contraceptive pill, or even months, I think, for some people, um, and things like uh, anti-acne medications like spironolactone, or anti-androgens, and Accutane even can lower hormone levels and um, contribute to symptoms of vulvodynia, and also, in my case and for other people, um, interstitial cystitis. Uh, the why of all that is a topic for another video. Today, I just wanna share about the different products that I currently use. So the main treatment for vulvodynia and bladder symptoms caused by low hormones is um, a vestibule cream. Also, you can apply it around the urethra, um, which is in the vestibule, the vaginal entrance. Um, and this cream is usually a 0.01% estradiol, that's a form of estrogen, and testosterone, 0.1%. Both of these, estradiol and testosterone, require a prescription from a doctor in the United States. In the US, testosterone is considered an anabolic substance, I mean, an anabolic steroid, and it's a scheduled substance, um, and it's monitored by the DEA. So doctors are a little more hesitant to prescribe it. It's also not FDA approved for females, which is another topic. It makes me really angry. But luckily, we have more and more um, gynecologists, urologists, and urogynecologists and functional medicine doctors that are on board with this. And those that can are prescribing um, testosterone replacement in addition to estrogen replacement in menopausal women and premenopausal women who have low blood levels and other signs and symptoms of, of this sort. Mine is actually 0.03% estradiol, so it's a little higher on the estrogen replacement because I've had problems for so long and low, low blood levels, and um, I also have symptoms of Sjogren's, which is just like dryness everywhere. Um, and then the testosterone is 0.15%, which I think is just a mistake my doctor made, but I think a little bit of extra testosterone is perfectly okay for me. Again, I've had super low levels my whole life, lots of symptoms and problems, and I apply a pea-sized amount of the of this to my vestibule twice a day and I was instructed to rub it in for 30 seconds each time. So that's also another topic. That was just what I was told. But I know some people just kind of like lob it in there and I believe it's actually important to make sure it acts, it, the cream actually touches your entire vestibule. So that's the only prescription product that I use and I think it's probably the most important one. However, if you can't find or afford a doctor to do this for you, you can also use over-the-counter products in the United States to try hormone replacement. Estriol, which is a second form of estrogen that the body makes and requires, it's weaker than estradiol, um, about eight times weaker, is over-the-counter. So there's all kinds of creams and products you can buy um, online with different companies on Amazon that are estriol replacement. So here's one that I really like. It's called Silky Peach Cream. It's made by the company Parlor, Gra Parlor Games. They have great information on their emails and website about hormone replacement and menopause. And again, like if you're having these horrible symptoms and you've had these life experiences as a premenopausal woman, such as pregnancy, lactation, years on oral hormonal oral contraceptives, um, acne medications, uh, also cancer treatments can, can um, shut off your hormones, you may benefit from hormone replacement. And these two, or the, the last vulvovaginal vaginal product that I use is DHEA replacement. I use suppositories, um, they're over the counter. DHEA is a precursor to estrogen and testosterone. This is made by the company Bezwecken, or Bezwecken, if you're speaking English, which we are. Um, and they get 16 in a package. Um, they're pretty strong. I started really small, just like swiping a little bit of the suppository on my skin, and then I gradually built up. And now I use half internally every day three weeks out of the month. So I take a break from all the products. I take a break from all hormone replacement during the week of my period, week one. And that is to kind of mimic my body's natural cycle where hormones drop on day one and start to slowly build back up. And then on day seven or eight, I'll start using my products again. And that's really made my periods super normalized and, and pretty smooth. But yeah, so these to save money and just because I don't think I need any more, I use half of one of these. Um, it lasts me over a month that way because 16 times 
two. <laughs> and oh yeah, the inactive ingredients in these are cocoa butter, DHEA, vitamin, sorry, DHEA is the active ingredient, the inactive ingredients, cocoa butter, vitamin E, beeswax. So super clean, super um, moisturizing and gentle, non-allergic, non-sensitizing um, inactive ingredients. So I really recommend this one. And this company, Bizvecan, um, they also make estriol suppositories and combined ones. So they're a good company to poke around. Parlor Games is a good one to poke around. Um, they also make this progesterone cream. And they also just came out with a DHEA replacement cream as well. So I use this progesterone cream during the luteal phase, which is week three and four. So the two weeks before my period's supposed to start. Um, and I do a little bit of progesterone replacement because I've been doing estrogen replacement for um, seven years. And I'm also in my very, very late 30s. And I've just done some research and I think it's a good idea to do a little bit of balancing and a little bit of replacing of this hormone because I know it gets really low. It gets lower and lower from about... Well, I don't know the exact age, but it's getting lower now for me. Another hormone replacement cream that's available over the counter in the US is Pregnenolone. This one I found out about on chronic pain websites. Um, it's another precursor like DHEA. It's actually like above DHEA. The body uses it to make other hormones. And it's, um, I think it's 25 milligrams per pump. And so I actually even use much smaller than that because I'm doing other stuff. I use like five milligrams um, for three weeks out of every month. And, um, you know, people can try that too. I've also tried taking oral DHEA. Um, I got that idea through a company called Biwinona, which is um, a medical consultation company uh, for hormone replacement. Um, so that would give you a doctor kind of supervising what you're doing. Um, uh, I started with 25 milligrams oral DHEA replacement. Then I decided to try 50 because my blood levels of testosterone and estradiol hadn't really changed. And my goal was to try to see what would happen if I raised my systemic uh, hormone levels into a more normal medium range because I've had such low levels my whole life, um, probably due to all those years on the low dose oral contraceptive that pretty much uh, like ruined my life. So anyway, another thing to try. Um, the last thing is this uh, herbal formula that I got on Amazon. It's called Mega Male because it's to increase testosterone. Um, uh, probably also to reduce cortisol because it's got stuff like ashwagandha. It's got all kinds of herbs in it. I've individually researched every single one. Um, and last time I got my blood work done, I had high testosterone um, and I didn't have any negative effects from that. Um, I had positive sexual effects and then I had some negative like, you know, body hair maybe that I didn't like and some maybe oilier hair in my scalp. And so I've super backed off of the DHEA and this supplement that I was taking because I don't need to have above normal levels or even high normal levels. I just wanted to have normal levels. So I'm still tweaking things with my hormone replacement and I don't really recommend anyone do what I do, which is to do it yourself and to kind of mess around and experiment. But I've been doing this over the course of many years. And to me, when I have like a normal period without a lot of pain and suffering, um, and it comes around every 28 to 30 days and it, it's the blood flow is normal, like I think those are all good signs that I'm doing it right. Um, as well as having improvement in my sexual function and my um, pain levels and my um, urinary symptoms as well. So I kind of made this video for all the people that I keep seeing um, cannot find a doctor to help them with hormone replacement. So there's, there are online companies that you can consult with who will send this to you. And some of them are even, you're consulting with an MD, but they're giving you products that are over the counter. So I just want people to know that, that like, you, you, you can sign up with them, and but you don't necessarily have to pay for their products unless it's a really good deal for you because estriol, progesterone, uh, DHEA, pregnenolone, and then herbal formulas that also increase hormones, those are all available in the US over the counter. I do think it's a good idea though if you don't know anything about this and you don't really have blood work to definitely get your blood work tested. You don't wanna be supplementing something systemically that you have high levels of, um, but you, if you have normal levels, it's still possible that your, your genital tissues are not getting enough. Um, people have reported, I've seen it so many times, improvements, even though they had like normal estrogen um, with estradi estradiol or estriol replacement and stuff like that. So it's just something to look into, something to research. And if you're lucky enough to have a doctor that will listen to you to discuss with your doctor.